Okay, welcome back guys. So today we're going to be working on the UVs for the garments. But I think I think most of what we already have here yeah, looks good enough from from Zebra. So but let's just let's just check this properly and be sure if everything is working correctly. Okay. So let's isolate this. To start by making some orientations here. Probably well, let's turn on symmetry. Let's see. Now nah, it's not doing much. So I'll select this two. Let me get them out of the way. Great. Something has been selected. Okay. Okay. So let me kind of figure out where this is. So face. Okay. Let me check where the UVs are. Okay, the UVs are underneath here. Let me like to isolate this. But the orientation is very important since we're going to be using a tie label texture on this. And I think I will need, I will need to I will need to separate this out. But if this direction won't work like so. Let's check where this is. I want to check. I want to check where this is. You see the same on the bottom part, so I, I have to cut this out. So a better way to cut this out is to cut this out from this from the inner parts in the inner parts around the double click on this then we'll do a cut select this piece or we'll select the both piece and click on fold yeah better So now let's just figure out where this is supposed to be. Okay. So this part, so I mean, I used to kind of turn this around. So let's just rotate this like so. Okay, down there. I believe this should be down also. Yes, this is fine. I'll do the same for this piece also. So let's just isolate that. Let's first get this rotated. So this should be inside. So double click in the other reports. I'm more or less like just rep repeating the same thing I did before. And fold. So I need to spin this around, uh, rotate this around rather. Something like this should be fine. So we have this to set up correctly. Okay.
Let us go for the sleeves. And this, I need to put this, this same line for the sleeve where this is and not where it is right now. To be on this under part. Let's get this out. Okay, this one is actually very close to where it's supposed to be. So I'll leave this one, I'll leave that piece. So this piece I need to fix. So double click on this. What? Double click on this. Stitch together. Unfold. Unfold. Select this to Let's orient this properly first. Let me just figure out where this is supposed to be. Is around here. So I need to kind of rotate this like so. Same with this like so. Okay. I think I need to kind of cut, cut the center part out. So I have the same line here. This one is actually on that down. This one is on top, so I need to switch this over. I like to put the same line down underneath this underneath under here like so. So do a cut. Select this edge loop, then stitch together. Unfold. So let's check where this is. Okay. I like to get it down, so I'll select this. I'll just do flip V. So now we have this down here now. I believe it should be same with this. Yes, they are there now, so that's fine. Just get this rotated like so. Select this two. Just put them around here. Okay, this is the front. Okay, this is the two fronts now. Let's isolate this two. This is a very weird, weird UV. I need to fix this so uh, edge mode. Let these edges. Let's do a stitch together. Then slide this edge all the way. One, two, three, then stitch together. No mistake. Just do a cut in there rather. 
it was better. So you can see there's a weird quote. This quote is not in the right position. It's not in the right place. So I think I'm going to cut this out completely. Cut this out completely. This code is supposed to be inside. Let me, you know, undo that. Uh, I'm guessing I need to do this from scratch. Let's, let's do that as a separate piece. So we have more control over it. So let's start with this piece. Select all the all the faces. Let's do a camera base. I want my I want this to seem nice to be to be inside of the of the mesh. So I'll do this around here. So double click on that. Let's see if that goes across the model. Okay, stopping down here. That's fine. Still fine. Double click to get a loop around this. Okay. Now it's red. It's red around here. So let's just manually select all of this down here. Then do a cut. So let this to unfold. Mm. get this like so how do you flip you like so select this to push to the side I'm done with that select this piece isolate it So I'm just checking where the seam line is. I think I'll do this again from scratch. So camera base. Look, I already know this is the front part, so I want this. I want my seam line to, to be inside of the mesh. So double click, double click to so get a loop around this. Double click, double click, double click. Okay. So let's do a port. Let this to unfold. Let's get some better orientation in there. Let's move this aside. I'm gonna get this a bit like so. Something like this. Flip you. Okay. That should be fine. Let's see again. Think. Yeah, let's just do the pockets for now. No, my mask was supposed to be in the perspective view. Let's see what we have for the pockets.
Uh, the pocket is not too bad though. Yeah, I think this will work. I don't need to do any rats in any here. Let me just figure out where this is. Uh, wrong, this is wrong. Okay, let me just do additional cuts around this. Cut. Select this and click on so stitch together. Upload. Upload. I think what I can actually do is stitch stitch this on the side. Just stitch these edges. Maybe just stitch these two edge together. So stitch together. Unfold. Ah, uh, it's bending way too much. I don't need to bend that way. Let me just stitch. Let's try stitching this top, this top part. Stitch together. Uh, no, I don't think uh, this will work. Because I want them to be facing up a bit more. So let me just put this out, put it out again. Unfold. Unfold. I would like to get this a bit straight like so. Get something a bit straighter like this. This is what I would like, so that's fine. Let me just fix this here. Yes, uh, I'm having to piece. What is this? Why is it so small? Where's the remaining parts? Okay. That is weird. Go to face mode. Double click on this face. Select the entire face. And isolate this. Then I'm going to do camera base first. To eliminate that weird UVs that were on there. Then edge mode. I just come inside of this, double click, double click. Should I have all the, all the edges in this loop format? Okay. Select these two edges also. Then I'll do, I'll do a cut. Select this, unfold. So you have this, so you have this two now. Let's just get them properly oriented. Something, yeah, something like this should be fine. It should be the color. No. My mask was in here. I think this should be everything. There's a weird, there's a weird quotes around this. So I'll just redo the UVs again. So face mode, select the entire face. Camera base. And select this. This two. Get them out. So edge mode. Double click. This stuff is weird around here, so I'll just be more careful. Select this edge loop. 
like this it should be fine so i'll do a cut let this to unfold then just like this rotate this like so so i'm guessing we need to kind of get this uv spatler it needs to be somewhat straight so let me first get let me first fix the uvs for She would do it now with uh okay, I think I need to kind of need to I'll probably need to do this now. Yeah, let me just fix this back piece first. This is like the last part, last piece. So face camera base. Okay. Let me get this out here. So the cut should be inside. Double click. Double click. Double click in there. Double click, you get a loop selection. Double click. Double click. Double click. So this is. Oh. I have some troubled edge here, so let's get that selected also. Then we'll do a cut. Let this to unfold. Rotate this properly. Like so. Select all, select everything. I just do a layer. Just get them in one zero to one space. I can now I can now work on those individual pieces that need some fixing. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is also like this. Probably select this to this to and get this out. I'm just gonna get this a bit straight. Okay, let's start with this. Let's start with this piece. So I'm gonna start by doing a cut here. So I'll do a quote. Do another quote here. Get this up. Select this. Get this kind of straight like so. Get this straight like so. Okay. So now just need to select the UVs. So UV select all of this. Shift right click on old straighten UVs. Okay. So select this. UV and just get this straight like this. Okay. Select all of this. 
frustrating you this mm, no this did not this did not work correctly as it should you select all of these at the top splitting share Uh, let me undo undo this, take it to wait to wait to before I think I need to port this again do it port get this out fitting UV All right, they could save. Fitting UV. I think I need to manually fix this. Select all of this. You just scale to and scale this down. Stitch together. UV shell, select all of this shell and squash this down a bit more yeah that should be fine so setting UV shell Let's hope this does a good job right off the bat. Uh, not an absolute job though. So I'll do a cut. No pull. You know, we'll get this like so. Select all of this fitting shell. Stitch together. Fitting UVs. I guess I have to kind of put this part out. Unfold. Select all of this. Treating your vision. You can only have to do some manual work in here. Okay, so edge stitch together. Stitch together. Stitch together. I'm guessing if I do a straighten UV for all of this. Let's see what that gives us.
Let's give this a moment. Maybe I should come back when this is done. So it did not even do anything. It did absolutely nothing. So I think I'm going to select all these bots. Kind of scale this out. Scale this out too much. Now just move this up too much. Uh, something more or less like this should be fair enough. What is this? Oh, cool. So it's just the same repetitive process also for this. I'd have left it if it, if it was at least a bit straighter like so, but it's not so. I will need to fix this. So I'll just segment cut some of this. So cut. Put we'll this to be somewhat kind of straight. Put we'll this a bit somewhat kind of straight. Select this, rotate this a bit somewhat straight. Yeah, that should be fine. Then UV, select this UVs, creating UV. Yeah, that was too strange. Let all of this and do an unfold. Let all of this and do an unfold. Yeah, that should be fine. Straighten you this. Strange. Upload. Upload. Shooting UV. Select all of this. Shooting UV. See, I can just use the scale to squash this down. Like so, that should be fine. And do a quick save for this. Select all of this. Shutting you is. Yeah, this is taking longer than normal, but. That's completely fine, so long you guys understand what I'm doing. Upload. Let me select all these edges first. Splitting this out, splitting this out, 
Straighten this out. Select all of this. Straighten UV. Alright. Done. Two more. I will take this like so a bit more. Can I get it straight? Fitting UV. Now that messed up UV, so that's fine. So let this unfold. Undo that. Still this lower part selection of the UV. Then straighten UV shell. So select the upper parts on full straighten UV shell. Select all of this easy skill to and squash this down. Just to get that straight. No, this one is not too bad, I guess. Well, let us try and straighten this up. Yeah, obviously issues. Uh, uh, food. Food. Oh, they're straightening you with here also, so let's just. We just need to be more though. Select all of this on hold. Squash this in. So now let's begin to let's get them back where they should be. Okay. Stitch together. I don't think I would like to spend an extra time on this. I'll just leave this way. This is good enough. Let's go to the next one. I need to fix this one. Can get this around here. Okay. Uh, let's take a white. Okay, no, no, no. Just slash this in the middle first. Cut. Get this out. Rotate this a bit more like so. UV select all this UV. Straighten UV. Let's see if it can work a bit faster without having to segment them. Uh, a bit messed up on the edge though. On hold. On hold. Think I'll be selecting everything on the lower parts. Just reading these parts. Okay. Nah, I think I have to seg segment this. I have to segment them. But treating UV. On 
food for food for food for food Let's select all of this and do a straight in UV. Now I didn't, didn't do did not do a very awesome job though. No, I mean undo that. I think I'll leave this like so. Unfold. Select all of this. No, if I do, let me select all of this. Kind of creating this first. Now select all of this. Then straighten UV. Yeah, I'm still having issues. Select all these parts, done of food. Select all these parts. Do an unfold. Let's see if we can get this up. Get this down. Still, if that's the way it is, I don't want to go extreme on this. This one looks somewhat, somewhat straight enough. Nope. Let me just segment this. Unfold. I think I'm going to have an issue in here, so I'm just going to segment this again. Okay. Shit in UV. Let's give us a moment. Let's see what we have. This one is not too bad. And this one is terrible. Unfold. Unfold. I think I'll leave that the way it is. This is straight enough. I just stitch this back together. So 
Christus ist die Gäste. Let me undo that. I don't see. I think this one is. Oh, okay. Reduce. We piece this together. Yeah, let's leave that the way it is. But. But. Put this out. Put. Hopefully, you won't have too much, too much issues on this piece, I guess. Okay. All right. So you be this is the last piece. So this is like the most boring process of the entire, like the boring, most boring part of the entire process, creating UVs. I'm very bored of it, but. It's a very important part of the process too. Okay. Graciously, we're not having so much of an issue getting this to be straight. Maybe because we have too many segmented edges, edge loops around this horizontally. Almost done. So let's just quickly stitch this together. Stitch together. Okay, that's fine. Now I'll just rotate this down something, just get the bit straight orient. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll select all of this and I'll do a layout for this. So check up out and let's see what we have. Okay, the rationality of check up pattern is flowing correctly. Since we did a good job kind of making sure the orientation for these UV shells are facing a kind of more vertical. So we have this flowing correctly as it should. That's fine, awesome. Okay. So let's do a quick save for this file. I'm taking a lot of time just fixing issues on just this English shirt alone. So let us keep working. We'll go down the next lesson, we'll just come down to the trousers and then fix that. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Okay.